Sometimes I think getting out of New York City, but then it's like, where would I go? So when did you know, being with this kind of opportunity, uh, job-wise, and... You live in, in Manhattan? I live up in the third floor. <laughs> oh, okay. So you live over here? Yeah. So you're living... Well, is, is there a Kentucky 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 Kentucky
Okay. Right. No, exactly. You so. gotta you gotta worry if his hand he can't lift it anymore. <laughs> uh, we have we have a, a few uh, members nominated for the board of directors. Uh, we have Shahid Amin. A second. Hey, Josh. Jonathan Judge. I nominate. Okay. Second. 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 to begin with. 
I'm holding on to you like I'm on the Poseidon adventure, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. Next thing I'm gonna know, it's gonna be uh, Shirley Winters with her little, little medal from uh, uh, her swim meet in 1930-something or other when she was in high school, and she's gonna lead me underneath the water to get to the other side of the ship, because that's what I feel like when I'm on the train, because I'm constantly falling and flowing, and the Christmas tree is hanging. If anyone has seen the movie from 1970-something, knows my stupid reference, then you know what the hell I'm talking about. So as he's coming, as he's coming, uh, he has these buckets taped to him so people could throw money or like a coin in the thing and you could get a goldfish, it seems like. But so he's like health care for my dog, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, this is a freak show. I said, hell no am I going to take that position at Hunter College because I'm not taking these damn trains. I'm 10 Stick minutes away from my job over here at <laughs> and there's no way in how you don't to take a seat. There's no way in hell am I going to be taking the train ever again. So, um, mm -hmm. That's how love yeah, an hour and a half of hell. When you drive, so you get all the way to the club. Oh, yes, well, well that's too. And that's home. why I have windows that go up and down. And, uh, the all right, take the express bus. Yeah. I won't take the anymore. Get away. Get away. It's hard to see that way. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, without further ado, I guess I was the warm up act. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I'm more, and here's the other act right there, Alan. Welcome. Uh, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I can get on to my face, Glenn. It's going to be a good one. Right. Yeah. So, Keeping our sense of humor. Without further ado, um, <coughs> if anyone could just pass that uh, sign in sheet to the. Yeah. Well, Alan, you already signed in. I got you signed in already. Terrific. Uh -huh. uh, just Does anyone need a bottle of water? We yes. have water over yes. here. Yeah. Yeah. Pass some water around. We'll also, well, I think it's warm, warm, so. I'll it's all right. Some water too. Warm water is actually supposed to be more quenching. Well, do you think Did those you know guys pay, pay their fare to get on the subway? Whoops, sorry about the blood. <laughs> oh, I, anyone else? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> anyone else? Sure they do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> so, but there's a well-known uh, guy that poses a veteran. Thank you. For a long time. Right here. Yes, and he had... Double jointed. He used to be. Like, he thought he had missing limbs. <laughs> and then what else? They the caught him on what film. Are, the summer. He's <laughs> double jointed and he has all arms and he's a liar. That's what I'm saying. You gotta yeah. and and he 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 use he the time. military in that way well, to say hi on this and to get money that way. I yeah. think it's this guy. Unless you are, that's one thing. But if you're not and you're using that, that's hard disgusting. To believe guys in the military and really that's why I really use that, that tip. <laughs> What's your FF-214? What is that? If they don't know that, then they were never in the military. And that's discharge. Glenn, I'm a veteran. What is an FF? Uh, that's what? No, you're not, sir. I believe that's a discharge. I know what a DD-214 is. Maybe in your day, it's not DD-214. Now, it's DD-214. Yeah, you know, I Maybe in your day, it's not DD-214. Maybe it's like from the age group. Okay. It used to be DD-214. Maybe it is DD. Which is minus. DD214? Yeah. I don't know what FF214 is. Well, so maybe it yeah, was also done by, by Maybe decade. I'm wrong with the FF, and I'm thinking FU on so OK, well. Yeah. You're right. I think it is. Another thing to catch them, Thank ask you. them what their MOS was. Yeah. Well, their okay. rate was. Their rate was different than Navy. I don't know what rate means either. You got me again. You know what would be interesting? To do a study. MOS. To find out how many of the people yeah. To do give a number to what like, your job you know, man on the street yeah. or woman yeah. on the street, yeah. and then say we yeah. interviewed yeah. a thousand the of these people, and 999 of them didn't know that. Well, that's true. I mean, because we would want to like support a military person who right. just needs help. Right. So, but I doubt if too many of them are like that. Right. Like, so we'll see. Yes. Yeah. FF two fourteen is a fuel filter. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's a DD two fourteen? I think I think the most fuel filter. Right. <laughs> think That's your discharge right. papers. Okay. Yeah. See, yeah. Fuel this, see, this is why we need oh, wisdom. DD two fourteen, correct? See, I stand correct. This is why we have there's you no in the substitute audience, yeah. for experience. This is why we have you in the audience here. That's right. So he, he's our uh, uh, fact checker. Fact checker. Thank you. Not like the liberal fact checker. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, well, oh, Trump said this. See, ah! This is why we have to so respect that's why Marty experience. Here, thank you. Yep. It's DD two fourteen. And also, before you knock veterans. Like that horror in Times Square the other day? Yeah. Oh. That fellow who drove that car was dishonorably discharged from the Navy. Thank you. And right. they keep referring to him as a Navy veteran. 
It's kind of a strike against oh, the guys thank in the you Navy. For letting they would call it he was thrown out of the Navy. Right. His, the belief is he was using drugs. Yes. Yeah, I wonder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without further ado, I know we're all getting a little disjointed. Let's fun, you know, it's fun. It's the election cycle. He said he was a Republican. We have a seat here. Welcome, Carpenter. The seat. Um, so, without further ado, Eric. It should be By show of hands, how many of you have never heard me before? Okay. All right. So some of you might be bored. Um, a picture is, well, by the way, I want to say I, I it's good to see Alan, good to see Larry, so welcome to this uh, meeting of the Zionist Crusader Alliance. <laughs> and, uh, you know, that's why I was so happy when this whole Comey thing went down and they were blaming Rod Rosenstein. Yeah. It just, I said, it's about time somebody blames a Jew for something. <laughs> and uh, right. as a broad Jew for myself, that was just, it was a nice change of pace. <laughs> um, a picture is worth a thousand words. So let me start out with something that to me is worth a million words. Let's uh, do what we can uh, yeah. to make it a reality. Yeah. 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 Oh. yeah. So. <laughs> Provide some inspiration here. Um, a few uh, disjointed uh, things before getting to my somewhat disjointed remarks. Uh, I'm not going to do what I did to a tea party here uh, in Los Angeles. They, you know, LA is a little more kicked back and it's not as dignified as Brooklyn. And so I said before I give my remarks, you know, I kind of want to be comfy, so I want to, you know, take my jacket off. And so I did, and that's where the similarities end today. And then I said, you know, I, I know this kid's running around and stuff, but I know we're in a restaurant, but I want to kick my sneaks off. And they said, well, that's a little bit strange, but okay. I said, look, I understand there's women and children running around, it's a very conservative crowd. But before I speak, you know, I want to be comfortable, so I want to take my trousers off. <laughs> and I didn't see what the big deal was because, you know, what man wouldn't take his pants off in front of a room full of conservatives when he's modeling his <coughs> awesome Duck Dynasty pajamas? <laughs> and uh, after they gave a couple people the defibrillator and, you know, let them know it was going to be a friendly presentation, I told them what I'm going to tell you. I took the jacket off. I took the sneaks off. I took the pants off. But I'm here today to talk about the left. So what I need all of you to do, take the gloves off, okay? None of this New York politeness that you're all known for, okay? Take the gloves off, because the left are coming for you. They hate you, it's personal with them. Just take the gloves off. And, and I also want to say that I'm so glad to finally be in a part of the country where people speak English, because I was earlier today in a part of the country where, you know, they're totally incomprehensible. They speak a different language. I was in New England, and um, just horribly wretched accents. I asked the guy where he was from, and he kept saying Vermont over and over again. I didn't understand what he meant. He kept saying Vermont, Vermont, Vermont. I thought he was saying Vermin. I said, oh, Vermont! Okay, and so it's nice to be among my fellow Americans where you can understand me and I can understand you. Now, a couple more disjointed remarks. Um, I know you're all broken hearted about the fact that, uh, you know, Republican corruption is running rampant. Of course, by Republican corruption, I mean Chaka Fata, Corinne Brown, Anthony Weiner. They're actually running out of Congress people on the other side. And it's actually fun to watch the new battle now. It's going to be a battle royale. If you think the 2018 elections are going to be vicious, now Huma Abedin and Anthony Weiner are going to have the mother of all custody battles. Each one badly wants the laptop. And, <laughs> and frankly, I want to know what's on that thing, too. And so a couple other disjointed remarks before getting to my somewhat disjointed remarks. This is not a Los Angeles-based fashion statement. I had LASIK eye surgery, one of the best things I ever did. I could see everything crystal clearly. With what do you call somebody named Eric who can see everything crystal clearly? Well, you don't call him Attorney General. <laughs> and if uh, President Obama wants to reduce the level of gun violence, sir, you had your chance. Don't pick a gun runner as Attorney General. And if I go one more time, guns and schools and death and the only solution is an outright ban, I'm going to say, yeah, you know what, you're right, outright ban, let's just shut down the public schools. <laughs> a couple policy notes, I know a lot of you are very, very upset about the Affordable Care Act that is neither affordable nor does it care, but I was one of the first six people who got through the Obama exchange on the very first day. 
It's a source of pride with me. I called up. I said, hello, is this the Obama exchange? They said, yes. I said, I'd like to exchange Obama for a good president. <laughs> and I got the message in the mail, declined, spelled badly. Now, I know some of you are worried about a government shutdown because the left threatens to shut down the government every few months in the hopes that we conservatives will get the blame. Now, I know it breaks your heart when the government shuts down because when the government shuts down, it could delay or even cancel built-in future pre-planned government abuses, but they've already budgeted for them. But here's how I explain the government shutdown to people all around the country. The government shutdown is like my ex-girlfriend threatening to give me this silent treatment while I'm watching football. 